Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to another review today of the DAE VMic D3 Pro. £179 in the UK. I got it for £170. The seller JY Photo from Amazon had it uh, for £170 around the Black Friday time last week. There's a link in the description below. Click it. It will take you straight to the link for the mic. For the money guys, I don't think you're going to find anything better. There is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, which is over £200 or roughly $300. However, this mic gives you a lot more for your money, a lot more than the Rode can give. This is one of the most versatile mic options compared to the Rode or any other mics that I have personally come across or considered buying or watched countless YouTube videos and read reviews about. This mic, because of its standard shotgun capsule form factor can be mounted to many things a lot easier than things like the road mics can be because they come in weird proprietary shapes for example if you want to mount this to your pc you could use a standard mic boom arm with a few threaded adapters just like the one you see here in this little montage and it can be mounted on a boom arm and use it as a voiceover mic for your pc now you could also get this device which is called the Rode VXLR Plus and this converts 5 volts of power to phantom power which probably means you're going to get cleaner audio recordings and make this mic even more versatile than it already is. You could do this with some of the Rode mics but this mic has a built-in smart chip that kind of figures out what device it's being connected to so it does some sort of handshake whereby it will figure out what device is connected to, whether it's a camera, an iPhone, an iPad or a PC, it smartly adapts without you having to mess around with too many cables. There is a list of supported devices on their website, have a look at that, link below again. So you can figure out if your device is compatible or not. Quick unboxing of this mic and you're going to hear the voiceover recording from the PC for this. Quick unboxing for you here, cardboard box, little bit of graphics, minimalist packaging, open it up, find a hard shell case and a little manual. Inside we will find the goodies, a TRRS to TRSS coiled cable, USB-C and the mic itself, a little slidey hot shoe, amazing, pop filter, windscreen and the mic on the Rike IoT shock mounts. We just go over some of the specs very quickly. It has a tiny 320 mAh battery, but it can give you 50 hours of runtime from that tiny little thing. It takes two hours to charge full, and it's USB-C. Yes, at least a new product that's in the 21st century, but it is from this DAT manufacturer, which is a sister company for Aperture, so we shouldn't really be expecting anything less from them. It has a built-in 75 and 150 low-cut filter, so, it's easily accessible in them windy situations or if you put a windsock on you can still get the tones you need out of this mic. It has a stepless audio gain knob. It is probably the nicest turning knobs you've ever come across. As strange as that may sound, we're going to do a test of how this microphone sounds at different distances. Right now I'm about 30 centimeters away. The mic is just above me here mounted on the camera. So we're going to get a measuring tape put it pretty much in level with the tip of the microphone and give you an idea of how it sounds at different distances. Now this is at one meter away. This is now at two meters away guys. We are now at three meters away, four meters away, five meters away. Now the final thing I've just got to go over is just a few things of note if you are going to get this mic. Now if you want to connect it to the PC you can just use a 3.5mm extension jack but if you want to be really fancy you can get a audio interface like this I bought mine direct from Focusrite on eBay and I only paid £70 for it although they did take forever to deliver it and sent me the wrong thing but that's another random rant that we don't need to go into but what the XLR interface will allow you to do is have a cleaner audio recording because of the power difference and the way it records and the audio interface, the preamps in that interface is going to be much more higher quality than the one built into the camera. So when you're doing voiceovers, it's going to sound great. It doesn't come with a wind cover, dead cat, fury, whatever you want to call it, a furry, fury, furry, I don't know. 
So that's something you'll have to consider. I haven't found one that's completely compatible. However, I am looking at a few options and as soon as I buy one that fits this like a glove and does the job very well, I will be updating the video or just doing a quick 30 second follow up video for the best dead cat. That's it for this video guys. If you liked any of the things I had to say, it was a quick one. Uh, if you find it helpful in any way, I would really appreciate you guys subscribing. I'm on that road to 1000, which is a big milestone. I've gone from maybe zero to about 24 subscribers in the space of a month. Need to get to 1000. So for all you viewers, whoever you're viewing, whoever is viewing, please like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much and peace.